So what we have here are a pair of jars that represent a moment when Japan bursts onto the international stage with a whole wave of new products, of new export wear. They're a style that's known as katani. What we find are really beautiful, delicate enamels in these kind of rosy red hues uh, with the use of gold pigments. Our very first glimpse of these vases in the Royal Collection comes during the reign of Queen Victoria. They appear in a photograph that's dated to 1891, um, and they are just um, in the very corner of this scene that's being performed by um, Queen Victoria's son, Prince Arthur, and his family. It's called a tableau vivant, or a living picture. It really drives home, I think, how much Japanese art was incorporated into the royal residences, that there was an interest in it and a taste for it. What we've got here is the first inventory reference. So this uh, is the inventory for Osborne House in uh, 1904. And here we've got the reference to this pair of vases with peacocks and swamp is the description. And what that tells us really is that the vases are forming an integral part of the furnishing of various residences over time, appealing to successive members um, of the British royal family. When I first saw the vases, I thought they look undoubtedly impressive pieces. The gorgeous, spectacular, large golden peacock instantly grabbed my eyes. There are similarities between my work and these Kutani vases. The surface of the Kutani jar is dominated by the gold painting from the very top of the jars to their bases. I often gild the inside of my porcelain works with gold leaf. Often in my porcelain work, I aim to position leaves and flowers as close as possible to how they might grow in nature. I see the same intention in the pair of Kutani jars. The fine, delicate lines in gold gracefully express the softness of the bird's feathers and the delicacy of leaves and flowers. In Japan, the peacock is particularly associated with royalty uh, because some of the first peacocks to come to Japan were gifts uh, to the imperial family. And so it seems very apt that we've got these jars at the British royal court with this very evocative, very splendid symbol of royalty. 